So, Auntie Halima, you have a fascinating um, background. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your story, your parents and grandparents? Oh, that, that's a, a long yarn. It goes back, yes, yes. Well, my grandfather, as you know, he came from Singapore settlement. Uh, he, and in those days, they had the, the schooners. So we're talking about the, the, you know, the change of all the ships. So it was a schooner in those days. So that was back in the 1800s. He came from Singapore settlement. He came to the Torres Strait and then he met my grandmother. I remember her, a beautiful woman, stately woman. She would have been about six foot. They met, married, and they had about 11 children. So we are from the Arwang family. Uh, so we're Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander. And then we found out just recently we're also, we're also Aborigines. So we grew up knowing, and we're very proud to know that we, who we are and where we come from. It was beautiful growing up as we were, how, how I remember those they are. Your father was a pearl, uh, a pearl diver. Tell us a little bit about that industry. Was it dangerous? He must have set off for long journeys. Yeah, my father came from Dutch East Indies, which is now Indonesia today. Oh yes, it was very dangerous because sometimes the divers, they go 60 fathoms deep. And my brother, who has since passed, his name was Abdul Karim, he wrote like a sort of a diary of his journey as an, he was the first indigenous engineer in the Torres Strait. So all the pooling luggers that he worked on. He goes back to the 1950s. My brother, Uncle Omar, found a sabre up at Thursday Island. Uh, it was uh, in the sea. At low tide, they, they discovered it. It was written in Arabic. So he feels that the Arabs were there at one time. Um, so tell us a little bit about Thursday Island. So what happens? Do you have a mosque? There was just uh, um, Bahudin Ross and his wife, June, my um, family friend. Uh, uh, they held uh, prayers at their home and also prayers was held at our house at one time. So more or less uh, the, the Muslims up there have now inter intermarried and so there's it's only just not, there's only two or three of us still, you can say Muslims. But they still, you know, they um, still know some of the prayers. They've heard the prayers and that they keep the Muslim names alive in the families. So that's how it is. 